when you're boondocking and you push the little button here on the control panel and it says, dude, you're out of water. How do you fill it? Obviously you could take your entire RV and take it to a place where there's water. Uh, you could have five gallon containers or some rigid container, or I have a better idea. So an American company called Wolverine uh, sent me a whole kit of water storage bags. Now, what's in here are a number of these uh, five gallon, 5.3 gallon bags. And we used them yesterday, which is why they're wet. Um, there is an eight gallon double ended bag with a spout for pouring. It's windy today with a spout for pouring. There is an electric drill pump. There is a dr pump that you power with your electric drill. Uh, you put it here and it has in and out. And look at this, they even put a cap to match the cap on all their bags. This also came in a nice netted bag. And of course, I I never put things away they're supposed, they're supposed to. But the nice thing about these bags is, look, this is five gallons and it fits in your cargo bay easily with a spigot on top. There's a truck going by. And this is what they look like full. This is a two and a half gallon bag. Um, but then when I opened this box, uh, after I got it from the, you know, the shipping company, uh, it did not stink. Like I even had several other people come and say, you know, smell this and see if it smells like plastic and it doesn't. These bags have these nice grommets on the corner. Uh, they have, most of them have valves and they don't have sharp edges. They don't feel cheap. These bags are not that inexpensive compared to some others that I've seen, but this company is uh, American company, veteran owned. And these bags, as you can see, keep it in the sun, made in the US of A. And again, this is five gallons. So think of your jerry can folded up this small. So a neat thing. So we actually got to test drive these. So check this out. So we're at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And our neighbor, I saw her walking around with a five gallon bottle, you know, your typical like sparklets bottle, whatever. And um, she was headed to the water station. I said, hey, do you want to try something? Uh, I have these new bags that, and this electric drill powered pump that got sent to us to try out. So let's see how it works. And so gave her some of the bags. She went and filled it. She came back and her husband and I uh, put some water in their tanks. So this is how they start. This is what happens when you put water in them. So very convenient for travel. This is pretty convenient. You put this here. Well thought through. And do you have a drill? Or... Uh, I do. I don't know if it's charged though. Oh, I, I have one. Hang on. I'll be right in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's yep. So this is a double-ended bag, and everything just really fits together nicely. And
at those Wolverine bags. I'm very pleased with them. Good quality product. <sighs> Did you see that? They even have little bags that uh, you can hang from your backpack from the carabiner and put a stressless camping sticker on it. And speaking of stressless camping, uh, did you know we do a weekly podcast all about fun things to learn and know in the RV space? Uh, we also have a weekly newsletter. We have all kinds of great tips, tricks, ideas, and tips at stresslesscamping.com. So I hope uh, we're able to serve you. And you know how to follow, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Uh, and if we provide good content for you, well, I hope you will. And in the meantime, I hope you are enjoying some great camping, whether that's boondocking or park camping, whatever, whatever suits you. Hopefully we can make your life a little easier with these kind of tips and tricks. And oh, uh, happy camping.